Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your February 2018 tarot reading. This is a monthly reading. We're just going to see what comes up and we'll go from there. Generally my readings, they point towards love, but uh, whatever comes up, I will let you know about. This is the Energy Oracle deck and I'm just going to pull one of these first. Action, action, yes sir, it's time, yep, you guys are taking action, you're taking action in regards to your own journey, or in regards to your own path, things are finally happening, finally, the time is now, no more procrastinating, no more standstill, things are actually happening. Here it is. Mental conflict. That's where you've been. Yes, sir. That's exactly where you've been. It's like, I've been stuck, okay? There's a feeling of, I've been stuck in a spot where I felt like I was going nowhere, all right? And, and when I say I, I'm talking about you. Not to mention that I am a Taurus, but this reading is for you, all right? Uh don't know. I just don't know. I mean, I feel like you guys have been in a spot where you are unsure what to do. Do I want to move forward or do I want to stay here? Am I ready? Am I ready for love? Am I, am I ready for this new beginning? I feel like there's been a lot of inner conflicts back and forth trying to decide what is it? What do I want? Uh, what don't I want? Who do I want? Who do I want to be? Where do I want to be? Um, you know, there's been a lot of mental conflicts here, but that's in the past, okay? I think this is a month of things finally starting to happen. You know, the wheel is starting to turn in your favor. You know, I feel like um, the, the period of mental conflict is over, all right? I think that is in the past. Let's, let's hope and pray. Uh, we're going to get some more cards to reiterate this and see what comes up. I do see that you guys are taking action to remove the conflict. You are. You may be working on your spiritual journey, opening up more, um, investigating how to improve your life, uh, stuff like that. Um, look at them. They're just a falling out, huh? I will zoom this camera in once we have the cards laid out. Yeah, change is on the horizon. And you guys, it seems like you've been resisting it. You, were, you weren't quite ready to step outside of your comfort zone. I think it was a time of reflection that you guys were going through. And I think starting the beginning of February, you know, you've decided it's time. It's time for me to be reborn again. Okay, it's a time of rebirth, um, whereas you've been through a period of depression, you know, that's why there's mental conflict. It's like you had to go through this period of depression so that you could reflect on your future. And instead of feeling like the victim, it feels like you're deciding to take action. I, I'm no longer going to be the victim of this, uh, this, what's the word for it? This unknown path, you know, it's like, I can't, I'm no longer going to be the victim of circumstance. I'm going to take the lead in my own life. All right. And that's what you've been doing. That's why you've had this, this downtime. And I think this downtime has been going on for the last few months that you've needed this time to heal, to reflect, and to figure out who you want to be. And I think that you are starting to have more compassion for yourself. It's like this, this time of nurturing yourself has brought about um, new growth within you. And this new growth is something that you have never experienced before. Um, it's like your expectations that you had in the past are no longer there. There's a whole new um, 
list, okay? There's a whole new outlook. You know, whatever was, whatever, whoever you were in the past is like dying because I feel like you are becoming a new person. And I think this was caused because of a breakup for somebody. You, for somebody, there was some kind of split that opened your eyes. Okay, there was some kind of uh, imbalance that came about, some kind of breakup, some kind of uh, change that probably came into your life that you know you saw it coming, but you didn't want it to happen. But then it happened, and now. You know, it really opened your eyes to really who you are and what you do want. You know, I feel like now you've decided, you've learned that you want something completely different. Whatever you wanted in the past is no longer even an option for you. It's like, I can't even believe I ever wanted that. And you were resisting it for so long. It is the truth. You were resisting letting go of something, but it had to be let go of because it was just an obsession that did you know well. I feel like you guys were obsessed with something that brought you a lot of stress. It may have even made you feel ill. I mean, it feels like you guys were holding on to something that wasn't really necessary. It's like whatever you were holding on to didn't bring you love it wasn't something it was something materialistic it was some kind of security that wasn't loving it didn't have any emotional support i think it whatever you were holding on to only brought you security i think that then this stems from your own inner child and your feelings of aband abandonment when you were a child that you know you were holding on to something that wasn't meant for you for fear of being alone or not having the security, you know? And this stems from your childhood, all right? And I think that's why there's so much mental conflict. There was mental conflict was because you lost some kind of security and you were faced with um, healing. I mean, you were faced with being reborn again. I mean, you had no other choice, all right? It's like you all of a sudden it became known. It became known that you're not the victim here. You may have felt like the victim for a while. Like, how could I let this happen to me? You may have felt like it was your fault, you know, and the finger might, you might have even been pointing the finger at yourself saying, I did this. But I think you've come to the realization that all of this has happened for a reason. And, you know, I think that something came out that opened your eyes that whatever you were in was super, super stressful, and it was time to let it go, okay? It was. It was like somebody, uh, there, was, there was too much responsibilities, too, ma too much burden with this situation that you were involved with. It's like you were, you were doing all the work in this relationship, whether it's at work or or uh, in your home life or with your relationship, your, your loving relationship, I felt like, or it feels like you were doing all the work and you weren't getting any reward for it, but you were still holding on because it was secure. But there was no love. It, the love was not being reciprocated, all right? So it feels like this month you're taking action, and I see a rebirth, so don't dismay. I'm just telling you about what you have gone through that has caused the mental conflict in your life. And now you're at a point where you're no longer going to play these head games, okay, with this two of pentacles. It's like, I'm not going to play these head games anymore. I think you were dealing with somebody who was playing head games with you, you know, and you've come to the point where, no, 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 no. You know, I, I can't play this game anymore. I have too much respect for myself. I have too much love for myself. Um, and it feels like you've, you're taking action in regards to your own future. Um, yeah, you're, you're deciding to start a new foundation. You're deciding to move on. It's like everything that happened, 
everything that happened uh, has made you realize that you need to start anew. And in February, that's what you're doing. You are starting a new foundation and your, your inner kindness is coming back. I think you went through a period of stress and anguish and despair, which made you feel secluded. And I think you may have secluded yourself. You didn't even want to be a part of anybody, but I feel like this month, at, you are deciding, okay, I, I think I'm ready to broaden my horizons. Your kindness is starting to come back. You're starting to um, focus again, focus on the future instead of living in the past. I feel like you are just taking your time. You're still taking your time. You're making plans for the future. And you're finally starting to broaden your horizons and open up to other possibilities. Now we're going to talk about future. And these cards fell out, so I'm going to go with it. You guys are free. You have. You have freed yourself from something. It's a time of personal freedom. And because I think you're vibrating very much higher than you were in the past few months, I feel like, you know, if you're looking for new love, new love could certainly be coming in. Somebody could have seen all the work or could be seeing you, how the work that you have been doing. Um, it feels like somebody might come to your rescue. Let's get the rest of these cards. I think that you have decided to let go with, go with the flow. Let the universe drive. And because you're deciding to go with the flow, no longer trying to push it, no try, longer trying to force things, and you know how that's how it goes. Many, for many of you that are watching this that are single, or even if you're coupled, I feel like romance is headed into your life because you've stopped looking for it. That's what I see. It appears that you've secluded yourself and you're probably just working on yourself. You're taking action in regards to your own future and to who you want to be. It's like you're going through a renewal. You're going through a rebirth. You are feeling very hopeful about yourself. And I think you're vibrating very highly. And your attractiveness is probably very, very high as well. And because you're not trying to force anything, I feel like new love is coming, or romance, okay, is coming into your life. We're going to get some clarification here. What is this page of swords reversed? I feel like there's been some spiteful energy. Somebody might be jealous. That's what it is. Somebody's jealous of your beauty. Who's jealous? What is this page of swords? One of your friends, perhaps, is jealous of you? Could be an Aquarius. It could be any sign, so don't hold it to that. But it feels like there is some jealousy. There's some spitefulness. Somebody sees how good you're doing, and it feels like your, your wishes are starting to be fulfilled. Your hope for the future, your healing, you know, you're on high. You're on high, and I feel like your dreams are starting to come true and I feel like somebody's not happy about that somebody's not happy about how good you are doing and how how free you are it's like they're jealous somebody's jealous of you could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius or Leo Aries Sagittarius okay it really it could be any sign but I, I honestly feel like you have some friends that are really not supporting you so keep that in mind be wary of your friends are they really your friends because it feels like somebody is jealous of your newfound hope your newfound inspiration your new freedom and your renewal okay i just that's what i feel um let's clarify this knight of cups what is this knight of cups up here yeah you're moving away from conflict it's like you are. It's like that's what it is. Is people are seeing, people are seeing that you are no longer ha be in conflict with yourself. It's like you're no longer competing with anybody, and because you're no longer competing, it makes you very desirable. And or it, this can also mean a reunion with somebody that you had a conflict with in the past. Okay, you could have been involved with somebody. Um, 
that wants to come back into your life, they may have decided to head it, you know, into a third party situation with somebody else. And now they don't want to do that anymore. I mean, that could certainly be the case. Maybe they want you to let them back in with this five of pentacles. So that can certainly be the case that somebody from your past could be deciding that they want another chance that they no longer want to, um, be in this competition or have the competition that they had you know it's like they no longer want to compete or fight about things they want to um have a reunion with you because that could certainly be the case maybe they've decided oh she's the or she or he is the one that can fulfill my wishes so i want to see about this um emperor right next to that eight of cups i see freedom here this emperor reversed though um you know, upright, it's very controlled and structured, and it looks like you're no longer worried about that. You're you're having this freedom, and you could care less what anybody thinks. You know, it's like, I don't care what society thinks. I don't care what you think. I'm on my own path, and I'm very darn comfortable about that. Um, yeah, it's like, you have new ideas, okay? It's like, I'm on a new road, and I'm not looking back, and that's what I see. You guys are taking action, and it's positive action, positive action. I see newness here, a lot of it, a lot of it. I want to know if this King of Pentacles, I mean, this King of Cups, what is this? Again, I'm not done with that one yet. I just don't feel like we're done with that one yet. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I think somebody could be coming into your life because... They see how well you're doing on your own. They see how well you're doing on your own. They see that you are taking care of yourself with ease. You're being very grateful for all that you have. You're growing things. You're vibrating very highly. And because of that, I think this person is saying, hey, this person, man or woman, it has got it. They're the whole deal. This, this, this is the whole package here. Okay, so it feels like somebody is starting to see you as being uh, being the uh, perfect choice. Okay, that's what I see. It's like, oh, this person, they can take care of me. Interesting. Now, this person wants to come in and mess up your independence. You know, they see how well you're doing independently. So it feels like they want to come in and um, offer you something. Yeah. You know, the Ace of Cups reverse. It's like they want to offer you love, but you probably, you might not accept it. No, you might not accept it. They might not be offering you true love, okay? So, or maybe they... They offered you love in the past, and it didn't turn out to be true love. So, so you know, I don't know. Yeah. It feels like somebody doesn't, they're not seeing you for who you are. They're not. Somebody is not, they're just coming in because you can take care of them. So be wary. And I'm sorry that this is the message. But I feel like you're doing very, very well on your own. You're taking action in regards to your new life, your new path. You've gone through a lot of healing. And you're doing quite well. Very, very well. Abundant, happy, healthy. Um, you're seeing yourself in a new light. Um, you've released some mental conflict in your life. And you're moving forward, and I see that there's jealousy here. I think that other, your friends, perhaps, you have two friends, perhaps, that are jealous of you. And um, you might have somebody from your past that wants to make you a new offer, but it doesn't look like it's legitimate. So I wouldn't do it. You know, I'm just telling you, it doesn't look like it's a legitimate offer. They will undo all the healing that you have done. Okay, it's going to take a lot of strength for you to to turn them away. And that's the thing right there with these two cards. This is a healing card, but it's reversed. They will undo all the healing you are done. You have done. So, you know, and I feel like this person is going to come after you hot and heavy. You know, they're going to be like, you know, I'm sorry. I 
I made a mistake. I should have never done that, you know. And they're going to, because you're vibrating so high. And, and because you finally moved on. Isn't that the way it is? Because you have finally moved on. Somebody wants to come in and steal your happiness. And it's not like, they're not really trying to steal the happiness. They're not considering the outcome. They're thinking about themselves only. But this is how the universe works. You know, when you are really, really doing good, they will they will throw in that hurdle to test you to see if you ha how far you've come. Okay? So this is this is what I see. It's like you are going to be given a test. And I think this test is going to be towards um You know, I think it's going to be towards the end of February, okay? I think it's going to be towards the end of February, beginning of March, that this person is going to come into your life and they're going to, you know, give you this offer and you are going to have to really dig deep and remind yourself how far you have come. It's a test, okay? It is a test. Um... Yeah. You know, the thing is is and the thing and this is the bit this is the biggest test is because by the time the end of February comes, March comes, you know, you're probably going to be thinking, you know, I'm I might be spending a long time alone if you're single. You might be, be becoming weary that your wishes are never going to be fulfilled even though you're really working on yourself and you're doing very well and you're feeling very abundant. You may be starting to feel like, oh, God, when is this going to happen? It's like you might start to have some doubts. And that's when this person is going to come in. That's like the devil. Seriously, it's like the devil that says, oh, vulnerable, vulnerable. You know, and that's where you are going to have to remember how far you have come. This is a, this is a strong message here. Remember how far you have come. I see a new door opening for you, a change of course. This card tells me that if you stay on your present path and do not go backwards, a brand new door will open, a new partnership. Okay, a new partnership, but you will have to stay on the current, you know, you can't go backwards. You can't go down the same road that you have been on. It's time to move away from the drama, the dilemma, and you have been. You don't want to lose all the work that you have done on yourself. You know, do not go backwards. Okay, do not. It's time for you to start over. It is. And when, if you do, you know, if you do, this is saying don't take a risk. Don't take a risk with somebody from the past. You have somebody new. You have somebody new that will actually commit with you. Okay? Do not take a risk with somebody from the past that did not love you. There is a new path. There's a new door that will open that will lead to a commitment for you, okay? But you are going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be disciplined. You're going to have to be devoted to yourself, Okay? Remember who you are. Remember how f strong you are. Okay? I want to know who this person is. This new person. Who is this new person? Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but this tells me that, you know, this person is scared because it's reversed. This person is scared of you. 
<laughs> That's hard to believe, isn't it? No, not really. <coughs> Upright, it's no fear. Yeah, somebody wants to start a new chapter with you. There is somebody else. There's destiny here. There's destiny. There's like... You guys are about to start a brand new chapter that leads to a commitment. But there's fear. Now, this could be you having fears that this is never going to happen. And this card could have come out to say, don't take a risk. Do not move backwards with this fool reverse. Do not. You have newness right in front of you. Keep doing what you are doing. The relationship that you were in in the past, whoever comes back from your past, there was problems. There was problems. And I think those somebody, you know, they just didn't put in the effort. They didn't. It was like it was an illusion the whole time. So I'm here to tell you that you have a new opportunity. New. And I just need to reiterate this. Do not look back when this person tries to undo all the hard work you have done on yourself. Okay? <clears throat> do not. Do not look back because you have a new beginning. A major one. A major one. This is a lesson. This is the, the, the last card. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, this is a test. You are going to be tested in February. Okay, this is a test. Are you really ready? Are you really ready for the new phase? Are you really ready for the new chapter? Have you really learned your lesson? Because the world card is a lesson learned. And that you have learned a big lesson. When you get this card, it's time to step over the finish line. Cel celebrate your success and start your new chapter. Okay? And I feel like you have this new opportunity that's coming in, but you will, towards the end of February or in February, any time in February, you are going to start to grow weary. You're going to start to feel lonely. You're going to start to feel like, I just, you know, you might have your mental conflicts. You might have these feelings of, I don't want to be alone. So this person, this is the universe, by the way, bringing somebody into your life to test you. I think this person's gonna, gonna come in hot and heavy this person from your past okay and I think this is pretty much a single singles reading if it's not it's you are um, yeah it's pretty much a singles reading that's what I see yes sir I will label it as a singles reading for that reason it is a singles reading. I can see that that somebody has become single and they have really worked on themselves and they are growing to a point of uh, having a huge amount of love and compassion and self-worth and self-esteem and self-confidence. And they get to that point where they're they're just flying on their journey and somebody from the past is comes back in and tries to offer them a bunch of bull and because you start to feel like you have this mental conflict should I or shouldn't I it's absolutely a test you know you think about it but the fact of the matter is it's not true this person has not changed they have not changed. They see your beauty now. They see that you are able to function without them. They see what you are worth all of a sudden. They see, but it's too late. That's what I see. All that relationship brought was trouble. Okay? Ten of Cups reversed. Trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. 
This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So I have to tell you one more time. There's two scenarios here. I see. I feel like somebody from your past is going to come in and ask for a second chance. And if that doesn't happen, somebody new could come into your come into your life. All right? Just remember how far that you have come. I feel like you have a new door opening, brand new. I don't think this person from the past is meant to be in your future. I see new beginnings here. And this last card we pulled really says it. It all says it. I see you are going to be offered a new exciting opportunity should you pass this test. I think the test is going to come in February and the new opportunity is going to come in March. This, this card right here, that's a three. It's March. It's the Empress. I feel like it's March. Okay, I feel like your new opportunity in love is going to come in March, but you have to pass this test, learn this lesson with this person from your past first. So that's what I have, Taurus, for the month of February. I'm sure it's, uh, you know, it is what it is, right? Talk to you later.